Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So welcome. Uh, today's lecture we are going to continue on major histocompatibility complex which we were discussing in the last lecture like uh, what is the distribution of the different MHC, MHC 1 and MHC 2 in different type of cells in our body. And we also discussed like how this is um, like about the malaria parasite how they are sm uh, smart and they can manage to uh, bypass the immune system. I mean what this is definitely by evolution. So, in last lecture I also told that MHC genes are highly polymorphic and uh, purpose I mean what is the advantage of polymorphism also um, discussed like very um, superficially, but today's class we are mostly going to discuss or talk about what is the polymorphism and how it is developed and why how many um, different type of MACs are they are in so far known actually in a immune system. So, the protein product of MAC class 1 and class 2 are highly polymorphic. So, if I say this and start with this, so you see this is the distribution in uh, varieties of uh, MAC in human. Okay. In MAC, in human it is actually uh, MAC major histocompatibility complex is mostly used in case of mouse, though we are very commonly used in uh, uh, in human system also, but in human it is called HLA human leukocyte antigen. I am repeating again human leukocyte antigen HLA that is why you, many of you might have heard like during um, transplantation it is called HLA typing. HLA and MAC are all synonymous. So, in human it is also called HLA. So, different numbers are there. So, if we see so this is MAC class 2 okay. this is MAC class 2. If we see MAC class 2 else uh, you are not familiar with this DPB, DPA, DQB, DQ, DRB. So, just assume for the timing that um, these are different MAC class 2 gene. Okay. So, A and B stands for alpha and beta. So, there are a DP set of genes which has DP alpha, DP beta because MAC 2 has both alpha and beta and DQ is one class of gene which has alpha and beta and DR is another which has alpha and beta. So, if you see so far variety of I mean a good number of human genome has been sequenced all over the world. And after that, if you consider all the MAC genes, if you um, just collect and do the bioinformatics analysis, you can see that there are DP type beta gene has 351 variety okay, and DP alpha has 19. So, if you have random combination like how many different variety of DP type MAC 2 is possible, you have to just multiply 351 into 19. Same way DQ type 435 and 32, DR the variety is maximum 1211 times 2. So, this is the different polymorphism, different polymorphic gene has been so far identified and if you have the same Genoa book or any other book of older version, if you find this number you see this number are lesser than the or the values are less than the value I am showing here. Because more and more genome is sequenced, more and more new data will come and that is going to increase the number or increase the polymorphism. Same way MAC class 2 there are 3 genes okay, or 3 uh, type of genes A, B and C and these are the different variety. That means, one individual can have any of these combination. Okay. It is not that everybody all of us has all of this. So, I may have 200 different MAC class 1, 200 of 200 say MAC class 1 if I have any one of these uh, 
may contribute little bit. So, there may be 100 from the middle one, 50 from this one and 50 from this one. So, any 50. So, that will constitute this 200 variety of my MSC1 gene. Okay. So, these are the polymorphism. It is very, very unlikely in any other protein so far discovered that many polymorphism is not known so far. M NMAC class 2 gene I mean class 1 B gene is also a group of gene that uh, will discuss if uh, whenever necessary it is not that very common in case of uh, MAC 1 and MAC 2 and in the basic part of immunology or basic immunology we do not need to know detail about it. So, how this polymorphism evolved and what are the mechanism like so fast why other genes are not happening this uh, polymorphism, but these genes why these particular MAC is one of the very rare example of codominance. You know in uh, genetics even in class 10 when you are reading or studying the Mendelian genetics there are two very common term called dominant and recessive. So, one will come from father another will come from mother. So, one will be dominant another will be recessive. So, dominant effect of dominant gene will be seen like very I mean very uh, popular and very classical experiment of Mendel was the tall and dwarf variety of peas plant. So, tall and dwarf if you make hybrid all of them will have both gene from the tall plant and gene from the dwarf plant where all hybrid or F 1 generation was tall. right? So, we see the effect of only tall variety this is called dominancy, but in case of MHC this recessive dominant is not visible they are co-dominant. What is co-dominant means both the genes say this is say a main have two variety of Mm, the one is blue another is red variety of MAC in the surface both red and green will equally be expressed. In, uh, in female this is the green and yellow both of them are surfaced. So, if there are four offspring here what is the what are the possibilities the possibilities are you can see very easily that if this we cross between this and this these are the different possibilities if each I am assuming one of each will come. So, it may be green and blue yellow and red yellow and blue green and red all four possible combinations are there. Okay. So, next generation each one will I mean all possible variation can be possible in the next generation and in every cases both the allele will be expressed. Okay. It is not that one is recessive and another is dominant. So, whatever MHC genes this is a very simplest one of the simplest cartoon, but as many MHC gene I have I got it from my father and mother all of them are expressing. So, all varieties are expressing to protect me or involve in my immune system. Not only that, for simplest thing was polymorphism. Okay. Simple thing was polymorphism, two alleles are different expressing two different proteins, both are expressing that is why the codominance is. Second thing is also there, they are not only one, okay. they are multiple copy. Okay. Maybe same type, if you see this is one multiple copy of one gene there is very common multiple copy of one gene if it is there it is called polygenic okay multiple gene is there so they are polymorphic they are polygenic so this is i'm not talking this is just i'm talking about any polygenic gene means they have say one gene multiple copy one is red yellow and violet they are very similar maybe it's little difference and but they are their alleles are same okay so, this is common in living system polymorphism is also common in living system many cases we see polymorphism, but in case of MHC what is there it is both. So, it is not only polymorphic it is also polygenic 
that means it has multiple copy and they all are polymorphic. So, even in the simple one of the sim simple uh, cartoon what I am showing here if you see they are polygenic and polymorphic made six variety of different MAC molecule. Okay. So, this is the reason why why we need variety of MAC molecule that you already know because we have to present different kind of uh, peptide because all proteins or all antigen coming from different pathogens or different uh, system are not same after processing they will uh, generate different variety of uh, peptide. So, to accommodate them we need multiple type of MAC. So, that is the requirement is very clear why we need so many, but how there are so many three things we have to remember one <coughs> they are polygenic that means they have a multiple copy number two they are polymorphic. Okay. So, all copies are not identical. So, even the alleles are different. So, that is why polymorphism is. So, this will increase the total number of variety and the third and important point they are codominant. That means, whatever possible genes or variety are there all are expressing and with equal importance. Okay. So, normally equal importance, but infection make the specificity. Suppose, I am I may come it later again. Suppose the product of this blue part, this blue gene, blue MAC is responsible for presenting some specific antigen. And if that pathogen having that antigen infect, what we need? Suppose all six are important, but particular infection may be the blue is important, okay, because blue is presenting the antigen of that particular pathogen. That time expression of blue will increase as long as the infection is there. So, that control is also there. So, amount of blue MHC will increase and express on the surface to present more and more antigen, uh, antigen of that particular pathogen which is at present uh, infected that individual. Again infection is over it is going to go and come down. Normally, suppose you assume there is no infection then all six here are going to express inequal amount, but in infection or after infection if any one or two require more to express more protein to give more exposure to the immune system like B cell or uh, more exposure to the T cell. So, then that particular MHC will express more. So, that e that we can easily uh, see under uh, uh, we can easily see under microscope different techniques are there and the experiment is very straightforward and simple. If you have a macrophage culture that means, in laboratory if you are growing macrophage you can see that normal macrophage when they are growing just by normal medium you are giving them food and they do not have to do anything. So, that macrophage will express very low number of MHC on their surface, but if you give them little few bacteria or add bacteria what will happen macrophage will eat them after eating if you see after a certain time if you can see assume that there is a device you do not know the technique maybe assume there is a device device by which you can see the MHC on the surface of macrophage okay. say as red dot. Okay. So, what you can see under microscope before adding bacteria you can see the number of red dots on the surface are very low, but after bacteria uh, addition of bacteria say 4, 5, 6, 7 hours depending on the time you see that red dots are increasing. So, which is very easily and clearly visible under the microscope, but you need to do the experiment. Okay. You have to have certain system or certain facility, but it is if you have all this infrastructure it is very simple experiment to do clear. So, how this polymorphism and poly uh, polygen it is a multiple copy it is always possible the many many genes depending on the requirement our system in this is not only true for animal it is true for plant also. If any protein you need huge amount, okay. if any protein you need huge amount normally the enzymes we do not need huge amount in cell to perform their function, but if any protein you need huge amount the cell need more to uh, prepare. Okay. So, normally what happen we need lot of actins in many cases like if you see macrophage and um, uh, the expression of actin in much more than any other cells because they are continuously moving you need lot of actin there. If you go to amoeba the entamoeba 
the another protozoan parasite they are always moving and doing pseudopodia and eating phagocytosin they need lot of actin they are multiple copy of actin genes. If you go to plant if you see the seed protein because seed protein I mean seed you know there are a lot of storage protein is there in the seed and lot of protein stored in the seed. So, during seed maturation you need lot of production of that particular protein which they will use during germination. So, how one gene may not be enough to produce that much. So, automatically what happened plant multiplied that gene number so that they can produce. So, whenever we need any protein in higher amount in a particular time we need more copies of gene. So, gene multiplication or duplication is not a rare event wherever cell needs or a particular tissue or organ or uh, organism need that is automatically evolved with time. So, there are many example of such in this case we need variety of um, MHC, we need variety of um, uh, different alleles. So, that different variety come not only in amount because it is seed storage protein one type of protein 100 uh, molecule is fine, but here if I have 100 molecules 100 type it is much better. So, both are accommodated by accommodated in the immune system in uh, our immune system by combination of polymorphism, polygenic that multiple copy and codominance. So, all three together has served the purpose that is why we have so many different copy how this thing is originated that we will see slowly. So, now this picture is now I hope it is familiar this kind of picture is familiar because we have seen this kind of picture in antibody structure also. Okay. So, when you analyze the sequence in more detail what we will see that polymorphism again. So, evolution is so precise they did not waste time or waste like unnecessary polymorphism. If, if you consider this is MHC 1 and this is MHC 2. Okay, if you consider this MHC 1 this red region alpha 1 and alpha 2 is actually the peptide binding cleft that we already know. And in MHC 2 half is shown because only beta 1 is shown here in, the, uh, in this part. So, this is equally true here also. Okay, so, this part is the peptide binding cleft. So, there is no point of having difference or variation in this this region say beta 2 microglobulin or alpha 2 beta 2 domain or alpha 3 domain it is no way interacting with antigen. Not a, I mean other way it is interacting with what it is interacting with C D 8. So, there should not be much change if there are a lot of change here C D 8 interaction may not happen. So, the interaction in alpha 3 region is not expected. Okay. I, I will not uh, say that it is good whereas, the peptide binding cleft polymorphism will be helpful or beneficial because more different and uh, more changes are there more variety of and uh, peptide we can accommodate or the MHC can accommodate clear. So, whenever detailed analysis of this MHC polymorphism was studied by sequence or particular residue wise like oh, this amino acid this amino acid if you check one by one you see this is the variability map the same way we uh, discussed in case of antibody antigen binding site of the antibody or T cell receptor. This variability in antibody or T cell receptor there are very specific to 3 CDR 1, CDR 2 and CDR 3, but here it is distributed all over. But if you go back with this variability this red portion the, the hyper variable or more variable region where they are located you see they are located mostly in the peptide binding cleft. Okay. They are located mostly in the peptide binding cleft wherever peptide is interacting it is there. Same way in MHC class 2 also this variability is mostly because this half is shown here the white part is alpha 1 okay. and the, we are showing here the beta 1 and this beta 1 beta 2 the you see variability is almost not there. Again it is important for interaction with the C D 4 molecule. So, this red domain or the red region that is a 
most variable region are also present in the antigen binding cleft or the peptide binding cleft. So, I personally when I studied all this thing or long back not uh, every day I am getting surprised when I studied first time all this thing or have seen this thing it was really amazing uh, it is hard to believe that evolution are so specific and so precise ok. There is nothing I mean how I mean now today our immune system is so strong and it evolved so many years so many thing happen. So, evolution of immune system is also a very interesting thing and it is not easy to de discuss in few lectures. So, many things you have to know many immune system of many different organisms that is not part, but anybody is interested history of history of immunology is important that you can study from anywhere any book. You can also study the history of uh, evolution of immune system that is also very good. What we are seeing today what we are discussing today is the final product, but how it evolved is really very interesting. So, any of one interested definitely you can go and study by yourself. So, this thing makes the polymorphism more effective ok, more effective. So, in summary what we can say? We can say the polymorphism affects antigen recognition by T cell influencing both peptide binding and the contact between T cell and MSC. Why contact between T cell and MSC? Because this alpha helix part is mostly interacting with the T cell receptor of MSC and this internal side where the peptide is cleft this is TCR middle portion of the TCR actually central portion of the TCR if you consider the three dimensional structure are interacting. This MSC both side are interacting with TCR in general. So, it is not peptide specific. So, so both are actually hampered here this polymorphism both TCR interaction as well as peptide binding site of the TCR that part is mostly affected rest of the part is not. So, how this uh, um, polymorphism or how this variety so many varieties of uh, T cell are uh, MSC are generated ok. So, we could have stopped there ok, but what I thought let us see I will just spend few minutes on how what are the possible mechanisms so far known that what is the origin of this uh, so many variety. This picture looks very cumbersome, but I'll, it is very simple and straightforward. I hope you will understand very quickly. L don't look at the other part of the whatever I am pointing out. Look at that part. Okay. Suppose at the very beginning, when immune system started, there was only one gene. Okay. As I just told, in case of plant or many other cases, if we need more protein we need more copy of gene because we need more mRNA. So, depending on the need this gene duplicated multiple copies. So, there was one at the beginning then it become four clear there is no polymorphism. So, there four we are is a polygenic now ok. When the similar gene very similar gene their structures and their sequence are very much identical there may be little different what happened during cell division you know two chromosomes the crossing over time they may misaligned ok. They may misalign it is not a recombination before recombination they may misalign two chromosome ok. They are so similar they may misalign and this misalignment may cause some changes or exchange of genetic material and eventually they can produce this kind of product of meiosis, where small part of this green is changed to yellow. Yellow means from this gene it is replaced and other one you will see a small part of the green is inserted into this yellow. Okay. So, it is not one side only. So, what will happen in next generation or in the uh, sperm cell or egg cell you have instead of just pure blue green red and blue you will have a mix of this. This exchange 
of genetic material by this misalignment of this method is called gene conversion. Okay, it is not gene recombination, it is gene conversion which is resulted by misalignment of chromosome during meiosis. Clear? So, if you can understand this part in one, then I am going from here to here again. Okay, so, multiple MAC gene, multiple MAC gene. So, that multiple MAC gene, if they misalign like this, so there are two transfer is possible. So, one from between red and yellow, another between blue and green. So, as a result, two things will happen. So, some blue will come within green and some red will come within red, uh, yellow will come within red. So, this is just a single case, I, I, independently, this is single case. Okay. So, if you understand this thing and with generation after generation, every time if this kind of slow or but steady way, if this genetic conversions keep continuing okay, with evolution, what we will see? You will see a multicolor this. Okay. Every time a small part is changing every time small part is changing. So, if any one is not good it will be automatically uh, ruled out from the system. Okay. So, we are selecting better is better and better whichever is better and we are getting a varieties of MAC molecule and that is why we have so many when we are showing the bar graph that we have so many MAC 1 A B C type and D R D Q D B that alpha beta genes it is because of this uh, reason, it is because of this reason. Okay. So, what if I come back to summary, genetic this is again why this polymorphism arise, genetic conversion which is one of the more or major reason for so many variety of major histocompatibility complex. Not only this, this say along with that normal recombination is already there right this is gene conversion but normal recombination during cell division is already there so that also contribute some variation in the polymorphism okay genetic recombination also create can create the variety of different variety of msc molecule and here are some polymorphism closely related allele okay how it will look so strain 1 and strain 2 if you see compare they are very much similar everywhere so up to here the red red yellow blue red again is same but only this part is slightly different if you see the strain 3 and 4 you see almost same except this region is different this is we are talking about closely related strains this is done in mouse. When I am saying strains, normally you understand it is mouse. Okay, normally we do not say human as a strain 1, strain 2. Okay. So, now if you see where this polymorphism located, rest white part is very much identical, that is why it is not shown. In this gene, white part is very much identical. So, if you convert to in this ribbon structure, we will see that majority of this polymorphism are in the either uh, uh, TCR binding side or in the cleft where is the peptide binding site. That specification is still maintained and same thing if it is a um, differently related or distantly related strain that they do not match most of the part you can say that this is just a color code you can make uh, like your choice anything. But whatever the color you give does not matter, but it contributes again the different part of the peptide and TCR binding sites only. It is not hampering other part like uh, which is not interacting with the peptide like alpha 3 or in case of B, um, beta 2 or alpha 2 domain of MAC 2. Okay. So, MAC polymorphism affects antigen recognition by T cell influencing both peptide binding and contacts between T cell receptor and MAC molecule. So, this change, okay, this change 
whatever we see uh, uh, or the mechanism or the reason like polymorphism, polygenic, co-dominance, these three, this change is changing what? This is changing the T cell interaction along with the peptide molecule. Okay. So, this is called MHC restriction. What is MHC restriction? MHC restriction, this is the nice picture. Say this is MHC 1, which is presenting an antigen named X. This is MHC 1, you know by this uh, yellow line or single transmembrane domain. And the T cell have the T cell receptor, which is interacting, you see this part with, let me change this. this part with this part, this part with this part and the central part is interacting with antigen. So, this interaction is not possible with this T cell if the MHC is different type. You see how it is different? In this case the green part it is flat instead of it is oval. The TCR even the same antigen A x is there TCR will not interact or same MHC, but different antigen Y, this TCR which can recognize X will not interact. Okay. So, this phenomena like T cell should recognize the MHC as well as the peptide to interact. So, T cell should know which MHC it is. So, this part if this is T cell receptor and this is MHC, it should interact the T cell receptor first if it is does not interact even the antigen specificity is there it will not interact which is the middle case. Okay. Antigen specificity is there, but it is not interacting because it is not this TCR is not recognizing this green one which is named MSC B this is MSC A just to differentiate between two different MSC. Even this same MSC A which TCR can recognize, but this TCR cannot recognize the antigen Y it will not interacting. This phenomena is called MHC restriction. That means, TCR should recognize MHC as well as the peptide presented by the MHC. If all both interaction is perfect, then only TCR will get the uh, interact with this, then I mean which is not shown here, then only signal goes inside and say T cell what to do, what not to do. No recognition can happen either due to MHC or maybe by antigen. This is called MHC restriction. Okay. So, today I will uh, end this lecture here and again some part of MHC is still left, very little we will discuss in the next part of the lecture or next lecture. Thank you for that.